Divide the hair naturally by combing the hair back and then pushing forward. For the first step I'm going to start with the left side of the fringe area. My sections become more and more diagonal. Take a closer look to the red lines. This is the fringe area.
By the way, I am not a professional movie editor or sound editor, so this is my voice and uh, I just want to know I'm doing my best to create these movies for you and uh, in, the, in the meantime, the future movies are gonna be better and better with better explanations and so on. For now, I am still learning how to use the English language to myself and then to explain what I'm doing. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a layering technique. For this technique, I'm only going to stay in one side, and this is gonna be the right side if you are right-handed. And if you're left-handed, you are going to stay on the left side. I chose uh, to create this haircut because she wanted to keep her land and at the same time to create some movement. And uh, if you remember the first part of this video, you can see on her hair that her hair is uh, just flat, doesn't have any movement. So I create this layering technique to create movement and to, to keep her length. doesn't matter which side I am working on, I am always going to stay on the right side.
Take the guideline from the front area. This is the guideline from the front. Connect the back side of the head with the front by using that guideline and continue with the same layering technique. Blow dry the hair by moving it from one side to the other to create a natural movement. Like that we can refine the edge of the fringe area after it's dried.
define the fringe area by using a pointing technique. It means using only the edge of your scissors. Use deep point technique to create movement in the fringe area.